One of the other options that we can do here is we can actually go from our work setup straight into our harvest setup by simply pushing the harvest setup button. What the harvest setup button does is brings us to a page uh, we're actually setting up the combine. The first at the top will be our header setup button like we talked about earlier. This will give us our raise and lower speed, our lateral tilt, our header height sensitivity, and our tilt sensitivity. So these are when we're using our header height for automatic header control, these are going to be the two that we use. Uh, on the lower portion here, we're going to see our back shaft speed. This is going to be hours on that particular header and the width of that header. Now, if we want to change that width, we change that width here. One thing that's important here about header width, once a header has been attached to the single point, that width will populate from the single point connector. As far as the minimum reel speed, we can change that here. And on the hours, we have that information here. The other thing that's important on the header details page is this will let us set our record stop height. Uh, one thing that's important when we're recording yield data is that we have the record stop height set properly. One thing to remember it is a record stop height, not a record start height. Anything that is, um, when we raise it up to 65% of the level, that's when recording will stop. So you want to make sure that when you're turning on the ends that we set that level high enough uh, so that we disengage our yield monitoring system. So we would simply touch the hydro handle, move the throat up and down. Once we get it to the position where we want it to stop recording, we simply push set stop height to current height. It's a pretty easy way to set it, but it is important to know why it's important to set that. So once that's set, next thing we're going to look at is our automatic controls. This is going to be just like it was in our S600 series combines, uh, except it's actually a little simpler. So we have our buttons across the top, our three, two, and one, just like what we had on the hydro handle before. Uh, if we want to use our header height resume, you have to make sure that that's turned on. And the same thing with lateral tilt. If we want to use automatic lateral tilt, it does have to be turned on. Again, we're not seeing all the controls because we don't have a header attached. Over here on the right hand side, you can actually perform uh, macro functions. So if the number three is supposed to go to the ground for header control and tilt left and tilt right, you'll actually see different icons pop up for whatever the automatic control is for each button. And that's going to kind of conclude our header setup.